Brothers and sisters and comrades, I bring you greetings from our union. And I think as previous speakers have done, it's just right to remember everybody who's died so far in this absolutely senseless tragedy that's unfolding in Iran. The people that were killed by the American bombing, the people that were shot down in the airplane, and all the other innocent civilians that have suffered. And it's important that the trade unions are involved in this event because, as we all know, the people that are going to die in these wars, be they from Iran, Iraq, or America, or any other country, are going to be working class people. Because it's quite clear if the politicians and the presidents and the draft dodgers like Trump and their children had to fight in the wars, we would have never, ever have another war again. And what we have to do as working class people is build bridges across the world. And we have a we have a prime minister in this country, and I don't know where he is, he seems to have disappeared, but there's no media scrutiny on that, is there? When Jeremy Corbyn uh, refused to make a comment to the media, we had rags like the sun turning up outside his door with a chicken. But when we have Boris Johnson disappearing at a time like this, the media completely ignore it and give him a free pass. And I wish Jeremy was in number 10. But unfortunately, we have Boris Johnson and we have people lining up to replace Jeremy, to, to be quite honest, aren't fit to brace his shoelaces. Because anybody that's prepared to press a nuclear bomb that will kill millions of working class people doesn't merit supporting, and that's quite simple. So comrades, the trade union movement have to get out and we have to mobilize. And that will include civil disobedience when necessary. Because we're here 18 years later, we can't be here in another 18 years where we're facing more disastrous interventions in the Middle East. We had a catastrophe in Iraq, catastrophe in Libya, catastrophe in Syria, and now they want an even bigger one in Iran. The message has to be clear from working class people and anyone who's progressing in this country, there will be no war but the class war. Solidarity!